In this problem, we're told when an object, such as a plastic comb, is charged by rubbing it with a cloth, the net charge is typically a few microcoulombs. If that charge is 3 microcoulombs, by what percentage does the mass of a 35 gram comb change during charging? Right, so we have this comb, and it's going to be charged with 3 microcoulombs, right? We also know the mass of the comb, right, is equal to 35 grams. All right, so what we're trying to do is find uh, the percentage change in the mass, right, as a result of this charge. Right, so how do we find percent change in mass? So percent change, right, percent change in mass, right, percent change of mass, what is it equal to? So basically, it's just the change in the mass over the initial mass, right, times 100, right? So we know the initial mass, uh, mass is going to be 35 grams, right? And there's going to be a change in mass as a result of it gaining this charge, right? Because we know this charge is going to add, uh, it's going to add some mass, right? So we need to find what this mass uh, being added is. Right, so we need to convert basically three microcoulombs into kilograms. So let's go ahead and do that. So we have three, three microcoulombs. So how do we convert? The first thing we want to do is convert microcoulombs into coulombs. Okay, so basically there's one million microcoulombs, one million microcoulombs for every one coulomb. So basically just divide by a million, and now we have it in coulombs. And so what we're going to do is convert coulombs into electrons, and then we know the mass of an electron. Right, so convert from electron to coulombs. So uh, we know that for every one electron, there's 1.602 times 10 to the minus 19 coulombs. Right, so if we want to convert from coulombs to electrons, right, we just multiply by 1.602 times 10 to the minus 19 coulombs. Right, that's going to give us one electron. So now we have an electrons. And now what we want to do is convert from electrons into kilograms. So we know one electron is equal to. 9.109 times 10 to the minus 31 kilograms, right? So uh, all we got to do is just basically multiply, right? 1e is equal to 9.109 times 10 to the minus 31 kg. Now the electrons cancel, and then what we converted from was microcoulombs into kilograms, right? And so when you go ahead and do this, you're going to get 1.705 times 10 to the minus 17 kg. So three microcoulombs, this is it in kilograms. So now we have, it's going to be go from zero, right? The change is going to be this, right? Because we're adding these three. So the change in the uh, mass, right, is just going to be this in kilograms, right? So we're just going to have 1.705 times 10 to the minus 17 kg. And then what you're dividing by is 35 grams, right? So 35 grams, uh, we need it in kilograms when we do this because the top is in kilograms. But basically, 35 grams is the same thing as 0 0.035 kg, right? Just divide it by 1,000 because there's 1,000 grams for every 1 kilogram. And then we just got to multiply right by 100. And so when you multiply this by 100, we know the kilograms are going to cancel. And so you just want to do 1.705 times 10 to the minus 17, divide by 0 0.035 times 100. And when you do this, you're going to get 4.87 times 10 to the minus 14, right? And then keep in mind, this is going to be in percent now. So we're multiplying by 100, so percent. So 4.87 times 10 to the minus 14 uh, percent. You can round to 4.9 if you'd like. I'm just going to leave it like this, though, but 4.87 times 10 to the minus 14 percent. But yeah, so this is going to be your answer, and hopefully you found this useful.